Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving. Psalm 35, verse, eh, ya mwisho ni 13, lakini, ngoja tusome kuanzia. Uh, ukisoma juu huko kuna mambo, inasema juu ya character, ya watu, how people react. I think from verse 1, inaugea juu ya vile watu, wanalipisha mambo, they are veg, eh, vile wanafanya. Uh, lakini hebu dugu nisomee kuanzia mstari wa 10. Bila sema ya kwamba mifupa yako yote itasema mifupa all my bones will say lord bwana who is like you. Ni nani aliye kama wewe? Aha. Uh -huh. Mponyaye maskini na mtu aliye hodari delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Kumshidai yeye. Aha. Uh -huh. Naam. Maskini na mhitaji Namtu Abdekai. Yes, the poor are the needy from him who brothers him. Yeah, he is just comparing how God works. Eleven. Masahidiwa ukudani mo, wana simama. Fierce witnesses rise up. Wana niuliza mambo nisi yajua. They ask me the things that I don't know. Wana nilipa mabaya, bada ya mema. They reward me. If for, for good, hata nafsi yangu ikaingia ukiwa to sorrow on my soul. Bari mimi sasa hapo ndipo nilikuwa nataka uone hiyo maneno. Huyu mwandishi wa Saburi anamshangaa Mungu. Na alipomshangaa Mungu akasema kuna mambo kadhaa yametokea katika maisha yake. Lakini anasema kuna vile watu hulipisha mambo lakini akasema mimi wakati mambo haya yote yalipoenda hivyo my solution was different from other people hiyo ndio ilikuwa neno la wakati tunapoongea juu ya kufunga na kuomba kama vile Yesu alisema inaleta mambo kadhaa na mjambo la kwanza ni kama vile nilisema inafanya imani yetu yamuke Hallelujah. Amen. When you fast and they pray, kuna begu inapadwa dani ya. Automatically, mwili wako unakuja shini na roho yako inainuka. Kwa hivyo imani inaanza kufanya kazi. Sababu kubwa ya kufunga na kuoba ndio hii mstari wa 13 nataka tusome sasa. Huyu dugu anasema kuna jambo alifanya for him to be strong aweze kupambana na watezi wake aweze kukabiliana na wale wanaonekana wanamuinukia maandiko kuna maneno inasema rudia katika mstari wa 13 bari mimi mm -hmm. walipougua wao wao walipougua but as for me when they were sick ngo yangu ilikuwa ngunia kwa sababu wao waliingia katika ugonjwa kwa sababu walipambana na mambo kikawaida Hakuna niwaambie wapendwa kuna mambo saa hii umepambana ama watu wamepambana na baka wamekuwa wagosho. Ha? Stress imeinuka kila kitu inasugua watu kwa sababu ya kupambana na mambo kikawaida. Haleluya. Lakini yule dugu anasema wao wakigojeka mimi nilipata jia I had a solution on how I can survive. Hallelujah. Hebu soma hapo shini. Nguo yangu ilikuwa gunia. Yeye alifaa gunia. Nalijitesa nafsi yangu. My cross was that cross. I humbled myself with fasting and my prayer would return to my own heart. Hebu maliza hapo. Maombi yangu yakarejea kifuani mwangu. Ehe. I humbled. Hiyo ndio neno lile nilikuwa nasnaona. 
Yusi anasema wakati alitaka kwenda maombi ya murudi. Amen. Ili awe na revival ya mao. Ili awe na njia ya kusikilizwa na Mungu. Alisema alijigeukia yeye mwenye. Haleluya. Prayer and the fasting ina shape mtu mwenye. Unajua kuna saa tunafunga tukifikiria tutabadilisha Mungu. Hallelujah. Mwandishi wa Zaburi anasema kwa lugha rahisi yeye alitabua ya kwamba kufuga na kuomba ni yeye akabadilika. Jambo la kwanza anasema ili mpa unyenyekevu I humble myself. When you pray at the fast you will learn how to humble Sijui kama unajua ni kwa nini. Kuna kitu tunafundisha katika Biblia kinaitwa I. Sema A. Mimi. Aha. Unajua adui kubwa ya maisha yako ni wewe. The biggest enemy of your own life it is you. I don't think you can say amen. Haleluya. Na wewe mwenyewe die adui ya wewe. Juzi nikihubiri katika masishi tulisoma maandiko inasema mauti na kifo imembebwa na ulimi wako. Biblia inamaanisha nini? Wewe waweza jihuisha na wewe waweza jimaliza. Haleluya. Mwandishi wa Saburi anasema nimeshatakuwa njia ya kupambana na mimi. Kile kinazuilia Mungu aonekane ni sisi wewe mwenyewe ndiye kizuizi cha ukubwa wa Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Jiwe kana wewe kwenda Mungu kanidhoni. Najua kuna ule mawazo duni ya kusema huyu dada anasuilia mimi nimtumikie Mungu. Huyu dudi amenizuia. Lakini when you come to the Bible, wewe die umejizuilia. Na hapo ndipo unakuja katika ile maandiko. Paulo aliongea na aliongea kwa vitu mbili. Jambo la kwanza akaongea juu ya mwili. Akasema mimi nimeusurubisha mwili wangu. Na akasema kama kuna vita ninapiga naga anasema ninaupiga mwili wangu. Ya kikuyu inasema nego tuka duka na mwili wako. Na hapo nyuma anasema ili nisije nikawahupini wengine na mimi ni wao kukatariwa. Hakusema kuna mtu anaondoa katika barabara alisema kizuizi kikubwa cha yeye kuingia na kufaulu ni mwili wake ni yeye mwenyewe shout i haleluya na wewe mwenyewe die utafanya wewe uende jihana na wewe mwenyewe die utafanya uende mbinguni amen duga yemeni haleluya Paulo anazidi kusema akasema si mimi naishi tena ni Kristo anaishi ndani yangu. Akasema na yule apendaye kuishi katika Kristo ameusurubisha mwili wake. Yeah. Ni mabiti ya mene te Yesu, ni mabiti ya mene yao. Hebu niwaambie the biggest reason of praying and fasting is to kill your own self. Ndio yema ni au degiuma. Haleluya. Amen. Kizuizi kikubwa cha injili ni wewe mwenye. Kizuizi kikubwa cha maombi ni wewe mwenye. Ndio kana wao wamenya huko. Kile yake ila ni hoe ni wewe mwenye. Si mtu wengine, si dadi yako, kwa roho yako si unajua ni mzuri kuomba. Yesu aliambia wanafunzi. 
akawaambia mioyo yenu ninaona inataka kukesha na mimi katika maombi lakini alisema adui ni nani yo au ni mke tena tena akawaambia roho iradhi your spirit is moving mtu ameumbwa kwa mambo matatu mtu ana ni roho you are a spirit na wewe ukiwa roho unakaa ndani ya mwili. Amen. Galatians 5:16 inasema mwili hupingana na roho. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the state of a flesh. Wewe kama mwili hamtasikili sana na wewe katika roho. Ndio kai kile moko jinda kwa sababu roho yako imeshaokoka. Haleluya. Roho yako imebadilishwa na injili. Ulikana maandiko katika Ezekiel inasema Bwana alikuja akaondoa ile roho bovu ya mawe akaweka roho nyororo. Hiyo ni kiongo ndio rumana cha kabla hujaokoka ulikuwa na roho bovu. Ulikuwa na kisirani lakini ulipookoka Roho yako ilibadilishwa. Haleluya. You in the spirit now you are a new creature. Maandiko yanasema ulifanyika kiumbe kipya. Si mwili ulibadilika ukawa nyeupe na ulikuwa nyeusi. Ndani ya roho yako you are the new creature. Na maandiko yanasema hapo ndani ya hiyo roho Bwana alipo ameweka roho yake mtakatifu. Amen. Amen. Lakini mwili ni ule ule tu. Yo. Kama ulikuwa na meno 30 ni ile ile tu. Kama ulikuwa na 32 ni ile ile tu. Kama macho ilikuwa imetoka nje ni ile ile tu haikuingia ndani. Hallelujah. Amen. So the biggest business ya Mkristo katika maisha ya kufaulu ni vile atapambana yeye aliye roho na yeye aliye mwili. Amen. Sababu roho yako ni nani? Roho yako inapenda. Hallelujah. Ona mtungati raga iko kuko the dinda yake alia. Wewe ndani ya roho yako unasikia ni vizuri kupenda huyu tu. Ni vizuri kusameheana. Ni vizuri kufanya in your spirit there is a sense that is telling you it is good. Amen. Lakini inapofika practical ile kanolo wangu. So unataka usaidiwe na nani? Yeah. Who will save you? Paul kumoja akasema in Romans chapter number 7 akasema mimi nimewezwa. Hallelujah. Akasema ole wangu mimi kwa sababu yale nipendayo kuyatenda siyatendi. Hallelujah. Anasema nipendayo nitete ninaotaka kufanya na kuja sijafanya. Lakini hapo chini akasema anashukuru Mungu kwa sheria ya Roho Mtakatifu kwa sababu alisema ile inazuiria yeye afanye mapenzi ya Mungu ni sheria ya mwili. Amen. 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 Lakini akasema there is a law of the Holy Spirit which will deliver me and allow me to serve the living God. Shout amen. amen. What am I saying? We are praying and fasting that we can fight the flesh. Hallelujah. Wakati tunaomba tunataka tumalize mapenzi na nia ya mwili. Gai ya roho osho. Na when you pray mwili unakosa nguvu lakini roho inafanya kazi. Now when your spirit is awake you become sensitive to the things of God. Shout amen. Na ni kwamba unaona mzee anasema alifaa gunia na akajua kunyenyekeza hii mwili wangu. Kuleta shiri lazima ni upeleke katika maombi na kufunga. Amen. Kuna watu wengi sana hawajaisikia roho vile anazungumza hapa. Hakuna kitu kingine inayowazuilia. 
ni kwa sababu hawajawahi kata ile there is a level you need to crush so that you can hear the voice of God kuna watu wengi sana wanatamani unaona hata hii huduma unaona hata hizi tunafanya hivi za kuimba na nini kuna mahali hautakata haleluya kuna breakthrough hautapata eh kuna mahali unauliza kwa nini hawa wengine wanakuwa na sauti na mimi sina wewe ndiye shida yako we mwenyewe if we want to have a breakthrough Uipe baka bingu ishuke lazima ukataze huyo mwili wako kutawala. Haleluya. Haleluya. Na mwili hausikiagi ruga ya ruku. Mwili unasikia ruga ya kunyimwa chakula. Haleluya. Za mwili ukichacha kula unajigamba. Huyo? Ni wito tola wito tola ga unajisikia haleluya na ndipo nilikwambia the moment i will cease in your spirit or in your environment wo koruo dwara dia ne dire eh hapo ndipo utaanza kupanda katika lebo ya kiroho haleluya kuna watu wengi sana hapa wanasemana mimi siwezifanywa namna hiyo ndio ndiko i haleluya Nayo ai haitaisha kwa sababu nakuja kanisa. Ai wewe mwenyewe utaisha wakati utachukua huyo mwili wako kama huyo mzee, uende upeleke ufarije dunia. Amen. mwili wako kupitia maombi na kufunga. Na siku ile utaingia utaanza kusikia hauna haki yako we mwenyewe. Amen. What you are seeing people doing and they get a reward is when they do it in the power and the spirit of the living God. Kile kinafanywa na mwili kinaleta mshahara wake hapa hapa tu. Lakini wakati umeomba Mungu, na kwanza niliwaambia hata mambo yangu naona tunafanya hata ya kujenga kanisa na nini. The desire to do it in the spirit. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu Mungu akitaka kwa kusukumzia, akwambie fanya kitu na iko katika roho, lazima Mungu amepanga bila atailipa. Lakini utakapofanya katika mwili, mshahara wa mwili ni hapa hapa tu. Maandiko inasema mwili na nyama haiwezi kaurithi ufalme wa Mungu. Kile cha kuharibika hakiwezi rithi kutoharibika. Aroho shungai. Na riposa ninataka niwaambie if you want things to change deal with yourself. Kwani mnataka ukane haji ta. Siwachana na watu bwana. Haleluya. Unajua when I is still existing in you you bring other people. Ha? Wakati wewe unaishi na ni wao tola na ni wao kwa kuokuo hawa watu wengine wote wanakuaga wabaya. Wewe ndio ugiragiria dadimo, wewe ndio ugiragiria kinya haria, mara maitore amukuru ndio ugiragiria mana ndio ugiragiria, ucio ndio ugiragiria. Uweona ndore wa kinya mudara wai. Haleluya. Kwa sababu hiyo mawazo ikiondoka hautaona ndugu yako. Hautaona kizuizi kama ni dada yako, utaanza kuona Mungu ambaye amefungua milango na amefungua utukufu wake na amesema niko tayari yeye abishaye nitamfungulia yeye atafutaye atapata haleluya na e abishaye atafunguliwa katika jina la Yesu the door will be open but it cannot happen by just be a church goer or a normal believer you must switch your gear when the way of Christ will be see what kind of hallelujah 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 masha ya kawaida inaona kile kiko inaona ukubwa wa shida na riposa uliona hawa wanafunzi 
Waliporetewa ule mtoto walikuwa wa wazee wa kawaida. Alirushiwa Petro wa kawaida, akarushiwa Yohana wa kawaida. Kwa hivyo aliona the manifestation of the enemy na wakashangaa, wakashanganyikiwa. Wakati wewe ni wewe unaogopana, unashanganyikiwa kwa sababu fear is the opposite of faith. Hallelujah. Lakini Yesu akawaambia mtakapofuka na kuomba hamtaona ukubwa wa pepo hata hapo chini akasema hata hamtaona ukubwa wa milima mtaiambia kwa sababu sasa hauoni mlima kwa macho ya kawaida wewe unaona Mungu vile atakavyofanya so those people who pray at the fast hawaishi tena hello they don't fight for themselves they don't fight for recognition Huh? kuna watu wana phobia kuwa recognized. If you don't recognize them, that's a, a, a vita. <laughs> the dog. Mtu ambaye ameisha ana baba Mungu ajidhirishe ndani yake. What they do? Hawatafuti watu wawashangilie na wawapigie mikono mirefu. Wanasema si mimi nafanya ni ule uwezo wa Mungu uko ndani yangu. Utiko shereto wale yangai. Amen. Ima vitu yote unaona inasumbua watu. Mkristo kabisa anatakiwa ukiona hiyo inakusumbua switch to prayer and the fasting. Kumzi anasema I humbled myself. Nani unagojara kwa hapo? You are waiting upigwe na nyundo ili uwe mnyenyekevu. Hallelujah. Na unajua yule mtu lafu ajuagi ni lafu. Hallelujah. Wao mzee anasema kuna mambo niliona. Kuna approach niliona. Lakini me I made my position. I will have myself through prayer and the fasting. Ana maanisha nini? Kuna mambo inaweza shida wanadamu. Lakini utaka poiweke katika maombi na kufunga itabadilika kabisa. There are some problems in your life. Azitaenda kwa jia ingine isipokuwa jia ya kufunga na kuomba. Hallelujah. Goja ni malise na hiyo andiko la Ezra chapter number 8 verse 21. Tufunge ibada twende tukaombe katika jina la Yesu. Hebu ni niwaambie wapendwa wewe ndiye daktari wa wewe mwenye. In the spiritual issues you remain the doctor of your own self. Hallelujah. Wakati unaona hata katika maisha ya jamii yako dada yangu acha kumengana sana. Unapoona kuna vitu haiendi sawa sawa saidine jaribu kufunga kidogo hata kama utafunga chai. Amen. Jaribu kufanya nini? Add fasting on your prayer. I know you do pray. Vitu hizi umengengana nazo miaka mingi. Kelele umepiga paka sasa umefanana na hiyo kelele. Umejaribu kuhaso umeshidwa. You have a problem. Na you have the solution of your own problem. Hallelujah. Mwili wako ndio unakusumbua. Mawazo yale you are so resource for problem because how you think is very contrary to what God says but to defeat all those you must humble your body so my you start nazangu wako nazangu wako nane aya ni 21 si uso Ninasema kwamba ndipo nikaamuru kufunga hapo panya mto Ahawa ili tupa hafa hafa anoka kwa ajili yetu sisi wenyewe na kwa na kwa ajili ya watoto wetu na kwa ajili ya mali yetu yote ha that's very beautiful very beautiful very beautiful ningeomba kama tukerudia hiyo andiko ni amana sana Ezra I love the stories of Ezra. Yeye anaongea mambo ya ajabu sana. Mstari wa 
Nasema ya kwamba mhm ndipo nikaamua 21 I proclaim ndipo nikaamua kufunga aha hapo penye mto wa hava hafa ili tupate kujinyenyekeza mhm peleza Mungu mhm na kutafuta kwake njia mhm ndio nyoka mhm kwa ajili yetu sisi wenyewe mhm na kwa ajili ya watoto wetu mhm na kwa mali yetu yote na kwa mali yetu yote haleluya verse 22 Mana naliona haya mhm kumuomba mfalme kikosi mhm cha askari na wapenda wa farasi mhm ili ili kutusaidia juu ya adui jiani mhm kwa maana tulikuwa tumesema mhm na mfalme mhm tukinena mhm mkono wa Mungu uju yetu amen mkono wa Mungu uju ya watu wote mhm wa mtafutao mhm kuwatendea mema mhm bali uweza wake mhm na kadhabu yake mhm ni kinyume cha wote wa mwachao verse 23 basi tukafunga tukafunga tukamsihi Mungu tukamsihi Mungu wetu kwa ajili ya hayo kwa ajili ya mambo hayo nayo naye akatukubali our god answered our prayer may the lord bless his own name amen his word he is a god of grace sina muda mrefu wa kuongea juu ya Ezra lakini wale wanasoma biblia unajua jukumu kubwa lile Mungu alipea Ezra including hata wazo la kulijenga na kulielekeza hekalu lililokuwa limebomoa moyo lakini unaona Ezra kuna mambo kadhaa walikuwa wameagana na Mungu haleluya na sasa alipofika wakati wa kutekeleza lile jukumu alisema sioni haja ya niende kwa mfalme na Mungu alituahidi haleluya Mungu alisema atakuwa Mungu wetu na atatupigania Ezra anasema anajiuliza anajipeleka kama mkutano anasema we need to be applicable kama Mungu alisema atatukinga ili atakuwa amekamilisha nikienda kwa mfalme ni muombe askari na farasi Hallelujah. Amen. When we were uh, crossing over the year, tulisema maneno ya kuamsha ama kurenew the covenant. Na unaona hapo ndipo Ezra anarudi. Hallelujah. Amen. And atsema there is a promise that God will protect us. Eh? Yeah? Mungu alisema atatufanyia mambo mengi. Lakini anasema ili agano hili liwe upya alitangaza the Bible ya Kiingereza inasema he proclaimed fasting and prayer for the protection of him the family the nation and everything Mwana ni arogosho na natumia lile neno tulilitumiwa na mwandishi wa Saburi akasema niliamua kufunga ili tujinyenyekeze katika ile muto ahafa that we may have ourselves before our God to seek from him the right way for us and our little ones and our own possession. Okay, the more ado again. Kutigime ya ajira shia gai na maido ma kawaida. Hmm? Tutikame ya kule ya gai ya dara kudhi na meshia ma ya ma kawaida. Hallelujah. And that's why God is talking about this. Ezra anasema sisi tulitumia muda. Nilita watu tufunge. Hallelujah. Amen. Nigeza gaya tuonie jira. Na tukulea tukugera. Ithui na kijashia na shidu. Hallelujah. Amen. There is what we think about about our generation. There is what we plan about our own people. But I wonder whether it is the will of God. Na saidina that's why we are disappointed. Ezra hakuchukua mambo kawaida. Anasema even to get the direction of life you need to pray at the first. Amen. Mwako ni mraimu mwana. We have already gone today is the ninth day. Amani ya saba is the ninth day kama siko say. Kuna siku kama vile mzee wetu akiogosa ibada alisema. We have 300 and above 
Huh? 350 something days. How are we going to manage all those days? We need God's direction. Hallelujah. Now, but upon in our letter, our pen, who am the Esira? And I said, Ma, to the end, to get in your case. The biggest message today God will humble you. Your body will have no possession. Mwili wako utakuwa na utawa wakati utafuga na kuoma. Utakuwa umeti. Hallelujah. Na you have fought for many years. Umengenana kabisa. Lakini vita hawishidi kwa sabu. At the end of the day ni wewe unajitokeza. Kama wewe mwene. You need to be humbled by God. Na jia ya mungu kukunyenyekeza ni kumuendea kwa kufunga na kuomba. Hallelujah. Kazi nyingi na mambo mingi ni posa unaona we have a lot of projects. Abazo wa zijai fau. Many people here they are not the finishers. They don't excel in their visions. Hawa fauru katika maono yao, hawa fauru katika jia zao. Kwa sabu nyingi zao, ama nyingi ya mambo haya, haya kuzaliwa katika mapenzi ya wana. Halo. Dari kwa sabu naona, ikiwa wana haku usishwa, safari haiwezi kakamerika. Hallelujah. Anything that is falling, Na nataka hii ni wape mutihani. Mimi siya mini mungu anaweza kukusugumzia jamu na likose kufau. Na kama halita fauru, ata kupea jia igine ya kuifai. That's what I believe. How many issues umeweka kado? Ni project ngapi za maisha yako umeweka kado? Ukasema iyo Naona kama si mungu kashukua higine. Naona kama si mungu kashukua higine. Even today you are planning to go for another direction. Men of God, we need to think twice. The only problem, you don't consult God. Seriously. Wina sema hata ukienda kuwanza kioski. Just going there, ade, na ununue madisi, Na watameno ni wende ukawuse Uratakua uwe uwefuga na kuoba Hili mungu wakuelekeza Na wakati mungu utafuga na kuoba Upepe hiyo paketi na muna hiyo Within a month Wewe utakua umenda bali Lakini ukiamuka wewe tu mwenyewe Ushawishiwe na wamama wale wegini Ushawishiwe na bijana wale wegini Ushawishiwe na wase wale wegini Enda fanya hiki na hiki Iyo maneno huwa ifa uli zo. Amen. Amen. Now that's why Ezra is speaking us very far. Anasema na nita. Toma yu hadiko sasa nifuge. Ninutie yu watu waende nyumbani wakiwa anashi. Ayane shiri na kwanza. Moja. Shiri na moja. Marika nasema na kwamba. Dipo ni kamuru kufunga. Mimi ni liyamuru kufunga. Hapo mto penye mto haba. Katika mto ahafa. Hili tupate kujinyekeza mbele za mungu. Jambu la kwanza tupate kujinyekeza. First thing will give you an opportunity to be humble before God. Yani tuki hota kwe tira gai. Na mwile wakawaida you need to fast. Jambu ligine. Na kutafuta kwa ke. Na katika hiyo tutafute kwa ke. Jia hiyo nyoka. The right direction of our life. Kwa ajiri yetu sisi wenyewe. Kwa ajiri ya sisi wenyewe. I myself, I need a direction. Halafu. Na kwa ajiri ya watoto wetu. Na kwa ajiri ya watoto wetu. Atu wakaini mula ingua. Siana ni kwe na tuwe hige. Hallelujah. Na kufunga atu badilishi mungu ni sisi tunabadilika. Na watoto wetu na nini ingine. Na kwa ajiri ya mali yetu yote. Ona idoishi shitu yetu yodero uwa. Nemula ame ya niku watara ame. Uyo? Nemula ame. Kuku 
zako kukaa uzionae kila siku inahitaji Mungu. Hallelujah. Kawera kawo rutaga, dwewe shira ya wagiri na wacho ndo wadhomi. Is very wrong. Kuna wengi wamesoma sana na hawana kasi. Where you are Lord. It's only by the grace of God. Na if you want a good direction kwa hiyo kasi, be a man of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. That business yako umeiweka mahali umewitwa there is a role of competition demons are fighting you down kwa sababu wanataka urare jana how are you going to get a direction on how you will do business kwa njia nzuri jifunze kufuga na kuomba hallelujah kuri mtu raji bwa isira nasema we need a direction on how we are going to live Tiga mo kira tuto noa iwa duri ni marare mana woku duka mo joko ya grisia kumanga na wadi wite la gano na woku na bebe hallelujah Amen. I don't know whether seki na watu na na kama sikuwa na mukicho mzuri ni na kuabia mimi wezu kani mu ili ili ona uge jira ili tika na beja ni tike tike kumbalu I cannot you see why we are dying. Kama sai we duetu hapa wako kwa CRB. Wali ya mago. Na hawa ikia kwa CRB ni wefu. Wefu inaita wa ni. Eh? No ando mo kire mage kwera. Wali ya mitu hae ya tuturago neka tumecha. Hae ya tuturago neka tumecha. Ha? Leo unajuta. Kama ugerishukua munda. Tondo toi wa besha ne kuguru katugu kaka. Utiro doki. Mutumio ne wa choke mu ko wo e yesi ode. Agutiro ne moduru sia school fees. Ai gerere. Tondo ne kwa ha do iratu mo iga siara atego kaka ye maga ire maita matatu. It's not wrong. The information goja ikae. Goja watu abie ziko huko. Goja watu abie ziko huko. Lakini kabla haujaingia Ezra anasema I have to consult God. Through prayer Amen. and the fast. Amen. We have done a lot of mistakes. Hallelujah. To me, Banya, Makosa, me, Lakini Mugu, no one ever has a good to some men. Lakini from today, that I am, Hallelujah. Do we are good? Chukwa Munda, Kilawakati, Unaoma, Missouri, Hallelujah. Ata Kama, Unaoma, Kama, I must see Munasia squeezes in Meja, Zakuabia, what to Kuna, Yashara, Apa, Kuna, Nini, Nina, Fanya, Iki. Even nas ima simu ina kujala. Ai kuji kwa kwa tu peke yako. Lakini how fast are you to react? Unajua mwingine akiona ate imetokea mahali atakoga milioni kadhaa. Anaingia hapo. Mshoe anaanza kulia na jicho moja. The only thing you need be prepared always through prayer and fasting. Baba hao wanatapeli watu wana mawaso ya mwili. Eh? Ni skimas, skimas wameplan. Sasa wewe wakikukuta nawe umeomba vizuri hata unaweza bonga na wao na uambie wa jamaa bwana wacheni mchezo jiji ni wajinga. Lakini ukiwa hujaomba wewe kwa ile ndio ubesha ni ile. Karatibu ilia Dua pun nama Odu. Dari kira orang nama Jimmy kira aku cuma kira dia masuk ke meja kerja kerja ini. Wah di tak ni dah kau dah di kau dah cuma meja umur muda. Ada ngaji nama Hawaii. Putih gaya mana? Oh nama Hawaii kau dah itu kan? Ha ha. Oh nak kau dah itu mata? Bukan lagi dia dah buat apa? Alam kau juga. The only thing I say ikile kimeokoa wateule ni kushukua munda wakua na mwa. Amen. Dilona ndole wa otu hanyo keti ukina kushoka kwa mwa. Kwa hivyo hayo mekina inakuja hata nayo inaweza kochi. Amen. Kutitirie kugaye mwa. Amen. Mimi naomba kamisu. Hallelujah. Amen. Tujifunze kujijenye kesa mbele ya mwa. Amen.